Welcome to our channel, Making Memories. May Queen Memories. May, May Queen Memories. Anthony has been wanting to do some filming for a while and do like a blog style um, YouTube channel with all the bits and pieces that he does on the boat. And a little bit of history off the boat. She was made in Lou in 1936 by Arthur J. Collins. And she's 32 foot long. She's 32 foot by 9 foot. Yeah. And, and she's, she's just undergone a full refit. Yeah. Just before we got her. She had 66 new planks and 88, 88 new, new ribs. ribs. So every frame in this boat is new and pretty much every plank from the waterline up. Um, below the waterline survived because during the 70s and the, when she was fishing, they'd have creosote in the nets and then all the creosote was obviously ran out soaked into the bilge and helped serve the bilge she is now the uk's oldest surviving shark angling boat she had a huge part to do with the shark angling club of great britain and this is something that we're looking forward to continuing with uh, dr simon thomas who is the marine biologist for the shark angling club of great britain and a lot of the skippers down in Lou, they've all been absolutely amazing. Um, they're living the dream with us, which is really good. Um, so we just like to share our journey, or Ant's journey with you. He's got lots of bits that he wants to do. He's been given outboard engine, to, a seagull outboard engine that he's gonna fix up over the, over probably next winter now, because we're quite busy mm. um, with what's coming up. And I'll tell you about that in a minute. We've got, um, some crab pots you're going to make and do on the boat yeah yeah and uh fishing we've got the sea angling competitions that we're going to do we're going to do the mount spay one don't we yeah and we're going to maybe go up to portsmouth to do the sea angler classic yeah um so we've owned the boat for a year now and we did do, we haven't done anything to it because we wanted her to settle in with us um but she's coming out of the water in a few days um hopefully we get to film that tomorrow is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay. Um, things like handrails, we're going to take down a little bit. We've got to paint the. We're going to paint the outside. Yeah. What we're going to do on the bottom? Um, we're going to paint it pink. We're going to paint it pink. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to. Um, we're going to paint it red, anti fouling. Yeah. So we're going to give it a good few coats of anti fouling. Then we're going to paint the bilges. Yeah. The floorboards going to come up. I'm going to try and make some cupboards underneath the floor to put things like anchor and that so that the deck isn't as cluttered as it, you may have seen it on the totally awesome fishing show it was quite cluttered back there yeah. um railings we've got a new mizzen sail made up to go on um what else we've got to do uh, uh, a new radar yeah got a new radar is going to make it look like who a helicopter it's going to make it look like a helicopter because there's an open ar arry in it instead of a closed one is it arry or harry or Airy, I don't know. Airy, isn't it? So like top left, isn't it? Airy. I don't know. <laughs> so what else have you got to, do, to say to everyone that's watching? So, um, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Richard Garside for buying me this um, GoPro, because none of this would have been possible without the kindness of Richard. Um, I'd like to say another huge thank you to Richard Carter who helped me fix up this winch which I bought with my Christmas and birthday money and he helped with he helped to get us all the parts that we need uh, to help my dad do it up for me. So this is going to be our journey on the May Queen. Um, we hope that you will follow us, you will like and subscribe. Um, we look forward to answering your comments and your any suggestions you've got. If you'd like to uh, send them to me or Anthony, I'm Dad, that's Anthony, that would be great.